Charlton's harmless centre, and the Saints were ahead courtesy of a soft goal midway through the first half. The silly keeper only succeeded in dropping the ball over his own goal line. Coton claimed Charlton's cross had gone out of play as it swung into the penalty area, but referee Paul Durkin waved away his protests. The lead lasted just six minutes, City level after half an hour. Alan Kernigan, returning from suspension, headed them back into the match. The Irish defender showed just how dangerous he can be from set pieces as he nodded in Nicky Summerby's corner. Tony Coton fell to reappear for the second half as Andy Dibble took over in the away goal. He couldn't prevent Matthew Letissier restoring Southampton's lead with a little help from Nicky Summerby. The City winger back to help his defence somehow managed to deflect Letissier's ambitious efforts into his own net. Gary Flickcroft salvaged the point for Brian Horton's team with his fifth of the season, two minutes from the end. Uwe Rossler's knockdown from Peter Begris' centre was just about perfect. Flickcroft did the rest. <laughs> Defeat would have been difficult to stomach for City, having given away two sloppy goals. Flickcroft's late strike meant justice was done. Southampton are still searching for their first Premiership win since December the 19th. Southampton 2.